Yes, honey. Braided wigs got your attention. I'm glad it got your attention. Got me some wigs over here. Um, I got like a good seven different styles of braided wigs. For the women who don't feel like sitting in the salon all day and having to braid their hair, this is for you, honey. All right, so I'm going to make sure both of y'all can see me. I'm just waiting a couple of seconds, y'all. I just sent out a text message, so I'm waiting for people to come jump on, and I will be ready. What's up, Joanne? How's everybody doing this evening? What's up, YouTube? If you are on YouTube, I would love to say hello. Would love for y'all to say hello back. I can see y'all in the chat. Um, I don't even see the chat over here, y'all. That's kind of weird. What's up? So let me first, before I start, let me introduce myself. What's up, you guys? My name is Shamika. I am the founder of Kathune Amore Hair. I help provide a four-step lace wig system to help save women time and frustration when it comes to their lace wigs so they have the hold that they desire, the melt that they desire for the amount of time that they're looking for, and I specialize in custom-made wigs for women who are suffering from alopecia. And I do want to talk to y'all a little bit later as well for the women who are suffering from alopecia because I have something special for y'all um, that I want to discuss um, that I haven't talked about lately, but it is one, it is one of you on the website. So first, welcome. Welcome to the Kathune page. If you are new to the page, welcome. Let me see what city you're from, what area you're repping, so I can say hello and see who's in the building. I'm over here in Jersey. I'm outside of Philly, about 20 minutes. Let me know what city you're from, what area you're repping, so I can see it in the comment section. And then um, if you are not new, i love for you to drop those purple hearts. Let me know that you ain't new to this. Y'all know... Um, Y'all been to the brand. So, I love interactive um, live. So make sure y'all talking to me. So I'm um, talking to me back. So I feel like I'm not talking to myself <laughs> as we get started. And if y'all can see me, let me know in the comment section. If y'all can hear okay, let me know as well. Because sometimes technology do not be um, working out. So Myrtle, you are from Maryland, Myrtle. So you're from Maryland. The city called Myrtle? Let me know. I never heard of Myrtle, Maryland. Or is that? What's up, Kelly? How are you? <clears throat> I'm going to put the wigs on mannequin head. Because I'm going to tell y'all, I can't even try. I can't even fit these wigs, y'all. I wasn't going to do the live because my big head can't fit the wigs. But I'm going to make it work. So, let me see. You're from Maryland. Okay, Myrtle. Got it. Let me see if I could bring this up a little bit, I think. So you guys can see the hair. Can y'all see it? Or should I bring it down? I think I need to bring it down. Can y'all see the mannequin head really well? That's a little bit better. If y'all can see the mannequin head pretty good, let me know. This light is blinding me a little bit, so I'm gonna put it down a little bit. If y'all can see the head, then that's good, because some of these wigs are long today. Let me know in the comment section if y'all can see the wigs. <clears throat> Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright. Take this one off, show you guys some stuff that I got in. Did I tell y'all I got the zigzags in? I think I said that on the last slide. Did I tell y'all about that? Okay, cool. All right. This is the um, Kai wig. This wig is different than this wig, y'all. You're probably saying it looks the same, but it's not. Um... This is more of like an African-American textured wig, this one right here, and this one is just a, um, a curly Indian um, version hair wig. Same, similar look. This one's a little bit looser, and this one here is a little bit easier to maintain. 
because it's not as tight. So it's easier to get the brush through to comb it out. But I meant to do a video about clarifying those. Okay, so what color are we going to do first with the braided wigs, y'all? So I have some um, box braid wigs. I got some faux locks. And then I have, um, girl, don't, y'all don't give me the line with some of these what terminology, because I'm wearing braid, braid, y'all know I have alopecia. I got some, um, bohemian, I think, locks. And then, um, I got red, I got some blonde, and I got regular black. What color y'all want to do first? Y'all want to do the, the, uh, some of the black wigs first? Or y'all want to see color? Let me know in the comment section what y'all want to see first. I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna let y'all control the narrative today. Oh, if you're watching on replay, hashtag replay. Let me know that you're watching on replay. The black. All right. Ty said black. That's what it is. All right. So we're gonna start with the um, box braids, the long one. I would love to be able to try these on y'all. I can try on one of the wigs. Oh wait, I think I got this one through. Darn it. But I'm gonna show y'all the cap and everything. All right, so this wig, uh, most of these wigs are full lace braided wigs. Okay, all of them are already on the website. Um, somebody's on our team who is able to um, answer any questions and drop the links on it. This one is the braided. Um, what is this? 36 inches braided wig. So y'all can see the close-up of this. And it's light. It's not extra heavy. Now, the inside of the cap, we're going to talk about the cap first before we get started because most of these are the same similar caps. So I want to talk about the caps before. This is the full lace of the wig. And then it also has an adjustable strap in the back. Right? So if you are a medium to small cap, especially if y'all small and medium, this is going to be a good cap fit for y'all. I am a large cap, so honestly, I couldn't put the wig on. There's one wig that I can put on that I can show y'all, but I just realized this is like glued down this today. But I can show you as much as I can on the mannequin heads and on the block. So this is what the cap looks like on the inside before I show you the outside. And then this is what the front and the back looks like. So it has the baby hairs around the perimeter, and you're able to basically pull the full wig. I feel like this should be higher, y'all. Don't this thing should be higher? Hold on, let me see if I can make this a little bit higher. All right, I think this is a little bit better. All right, so this is what the front hairline looks like. So you're actually able to tie it up with half up, half down as such because it has a full lace, you can see the sides, and then it has the baby hair. So you're going to just need a little bit of gel, swoop those baby hairs around, and then if you want to do a little knot ponytail, you're able to do that as well. And if you go under the website, under the braided wigs, you'll see it. It's the very first category on the braided wigs. Can y'all see that really good? Oh, wait. Wait a minute. All right, there you go. And this is what the back looks like. And the braids are nice and neat and they're light. And then I'm going to pull it all the way up for you guys to see what the back looks like. What's up, Denise? And I'm going to show y'all what the back looks like. I should put a, hold on, let me put this little pen back here. So if you want to tie down the back, you can, because it still has the lace back here. Y'all see that? So this is just like a regular style box braid. You got the elastic band in the back. If you want to take it out, you can. But basically, you're able to pull this up into a full ponytail. 
or you can have the whole half down, half up style, and or you can just have it down. This is just a regular box brace that's the full lace. But this style wig, um, let me show y'all the knots. I mean the top, right? Let me show y'all the top so y'all can see what the top looks like a little bit closer. If y'all can see it well, let me know. <laughs> y'all see that? You see the neatness of the braids? And the only thing you can do is put a little bit of makeup on it so you can hide some of the knots with a little bit of your favorite foundation um, to blend that part in. And Denise, what's that stuff that you have that was called? I forget. That stuff probably worked really good on these wigs. Denise, drop it in the comments section. It's just like this wax. I haven't tried it personally yet. It's like this wax sort of stuff you put on the inside of the cap. And it'll probably work really well with the inside of these wigs. But this is the box braids on the website. Rebecca, if you're on here, can you drop the link on so you can see that one? But I have this one as well in a lace front wig. And I'm going to show you what the difference between those two cap styles are. Now, that one I could fit, but my wig is on, y'all. So, I put, uh, I used adhesive two days ago for this wig. So, I can't honestly put it on for y'all. But I will do a video for y'all to see it, what it looks like um, with it on. If I got any questions, write it in the comment section so I can see it. So, this is basically a 1B color. And then we also have this style in a number and a blonde. But I'm going to show you, let me show you the lace front one that's like this first. And then um, after that, I can show you what the blonde looks like with this lace. I call her Patria, y'all. I'm Asian myself. <laughs> I'm about to start doing the uh, butterfly in a minute. I think of a happy song. I gotta get my music in my head. Hold on. I think this one might be the lace front, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I call her Patrick. All right, so this one is a similar style, but it's going to be a lace front. So if you are of a larger capacity of head, <laughs> like myself, then this cat is going to be better for you, right? So basically, this one is a lace front. It's like a large closure. So you can see the size of this. So basically, your first front hairline is mostly covered, right? Um, and then you go back deep in the parting space on your wig. So basically, this one also has a lot of stretch in the back. So you can see this part it has a lot of give, and it has a lot of air to it, too. So if you're someone who wants a little bit more air and ventilation in your wig, you might like this one better. It's the same style as the other one I just showed you. It's just that it's lace front, and it's large head friendly, y'all. So I'm going to put it on here so you guys can see what it looks like. But basically, it looks the same um, as the wig I just showed you. It's just that it's a lace front and not a full lace wig. But if you have no intentions on doing like a high ponytail, then you wouldn't have to worry about the whole full lace thing um, as well. But I'm not going to put this on all the way. I don't really need to. So basically, you guys get it. So it's basically the same thing. Um, nice, neat box braids. And then the front part, you still have the full access of, um, it's probably about eight inches wide from left to right. So basically, it's almost a full front, but not all the way. So you still have a nice amount of space from ear to ear that will cover you for putting it up in a ponytail or something like that. Or you can keep it down, whatever style you want to do. Basically, you still have a lot of the same options. It's just that the back isn't full lace like the uh, other one. But this one I like because it has like a lot of give. So I'm able to put this wig on. But I'm also a very, uh, you know, if you're a really busy person and you don't want to worry about the lace on the sides all the time and melt it, um, this is a good option because it's almost like you put it on, you can take it off. And you can still use the wig grip when you're putting these wigs on. So um, that's another option. So if you want a little bit of quicker install, something like that will also work. But this one is the um, the closure. And actually, this one's not on the website. So uh, Rebecca, you're not going to see this one. This one was for me. 
So, um, but if someone's interested in this one, just let me know in the comment section and you, I would be able to offer it to you as well. But um, this one was for me and it fits. Cause like I said, I'm lazy. I don't like going full lace wigs. So now we're gonna see the blonde one that's similar to the box one real quick. Uh, but like I said, if you're interested in this one, I'm not gonna hold it to myself. Um, but it is available as a lace front wig. Let me show you the blonde one. Now this is my favorite color. Who else loves blonde in here? Let me know in the comment section. So this one as well is full lace wig again. Um, but this one's a four with a mix of a 27. It's not even a four, it's just a mix with a 27, a little bit of black. Take that back, it's a little four. No, yeah, it is. It's a little bit of four. It's just mixed. It's an even mix. This is a little bit, I think this one might be a little bit longer than this one. That's the same. This one looks a little bit longer. This one might be 38, y'all. Um, this is just a uh, blonde color. Y'all like this color? Uh, once again, it's a full lace. It's the same thing. Um, the color is just with the blonde color. And then this is what the back looks like. Don't mess with my love, Joe. I feel like I'm yo. Don't try to play me out. Don't try to play me out. No, y'all no, eating me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I should have called her Yo-Yo. <laughs> uh, if y'all know who Yo-Yo is, y'all can just bypass me and don't mind me. But if y'all know who Yo-Yo is, y'all gonna put it in the comment section. I know who she is. <laughs> but anyways, same thing. Box breaks. Don't try to play me out. Don't try to play me out. You can do the same style. Up knot. Little bunt. Little whatever. Whatever style you want to do. And then, um, you know, go from there. So this one's cute. Y'all can see everything. Hopefully y'all can see the full color, how much the blonde is on the tips. That one's on here. So this one's a blonde. All right. So next, I want to show you guys the other um, box braids. But this box braid is like a bob style. So it's for people who don't want to wear all this hair, right? So some people want to wear a little bit shorter, a little bit easier to maintain. I'm going to show you guys what the box style is. That's a bob style, and it goes right to your shoulder, which is cool because it's not as much hair. So it's a little, like, lighter, you know what I mean? also a full lace wig as well right so the blonde one um Rebecca just dropped on the comment section that's the blonde one but this one's the bob wig I don't remember what I called her but this one's a short now this is definitely giving you patchwork right um another once again full lace wig adjustable straps and the nape it's small head friendly y'all so if you have a small head this is definitely going to fit you good if you're on a larger cap size, you're going to want this as a lace front and not as a full lace. Um, it does have very little, oh, it's a little bit of stretch um, on each side. Um, but ultimately, it is a full lace. And this one is the short one that you'll see on the site. This one is actually sold. This one goes out tomorrow, but we will have more in in the next couple of days. So it just takes a couple of days to process the order. But um, this one's sold already. So basically this one you could wear down um, with the part in the middle. 
Now mind you guys, like this is new. So if you want to flatten it out a little bit, you're going to probably have to manipulate a little bit and then kind of like basically flatten it out so it gets you a little bit of a flatter foundation for it to like calm down. This is like right out of the package, right? So in order for this to move around a little bit, I would probably just spray a little bit of water on it and I'll probably put a scarf on it because I would want it a little bit more flat on the foundation. But basically, this is the bob style. So it's short, straight to the, the length of like the hair I have now and um, go on to an angle bob. So this one's on the website as well. I forget the name of it. I probably can tell once you drop the name, but I can't see what the name is on that one. So that's the short one. I got one more box braid, and after that we got a faux locks, and I got a red one too. So if everybody can see that, we can go on to the next one. Y'all quiet today? Talk to me back. <laughs> but this one's going out to someone um, tomorrow morning. Normally our wigs are either shipped out within two to three days or sometimes it takes up to seven days to process the order, depending on the wig. I think this is the last braided wig and the other ones are toe box. This might be the same thing. Yeah, that's the same thing. So I got a couple of those long braided wigs. Now we're gonna get into the faux locks. Um, you wanna see the red one first or the black one first? We got two different faux styles. We got uh, two different styles and then I got one with a different color. So let's start with color. Let's start with the color one first. All right. So, this one is the red faux lock. Can y'all see that one? Oh, this is a, a big cap. This one's full lace as well. Um, same cap style. Adjustable straps in the back. Baby hairs around the perimeter. And then... Um, the full locks. You don't see the red tips, and then we also have it in black. Let me see. Here. Well, this is more like burgundy, not red. It's more like a burgundy color, y'all. I don't know what it comes up on the monitor, but it's more like a burgundy color. So, um, and the other thing is, you don't have to keep them long like this. You can cut them. So if you want to cut them, you can, so that they'll a little bit fit your style. Like I think something like this would probably be cool right here for me, um, if you want. So basically you're able to do the same exact style. You can put it up in a half up, half down type thing, right? Or you could do the full head and you can do the whole thing up and an actual ponytail will look nice, actually. I think a ponytail will look really nice on this one. Like just having a regular pony, or having it doing it like a high pony, right? Then have all the, uh, the little, um, the locks rolling down. I think that would be cute. Uh, what's this one called? I call her coffee. I don't know. I don't know where I got that one from. This one's called coffee. So this one is um, the burgundy faux lock wig. And the ends are like curly. So if you did cut them, you are cutting off some of the curly ends. But um, ultimately, you can cut them. So I wouldn't mind trying this. Um, if you would like this in like a bob style, the same sort of lock style, that's available too. I just don't have it on the website. So if you wanted it a little bit shorter and don't worry about cutting it because you're scared you're going to mess it up, then I'm able to do that as well, but in a shorter style. Man, what y'all think about this color? How does this color look on me? I'm still a blonde. It would probably be cool if it was this red with a couple of blonde highlights 
in it. All right, I'm gonna show y'all the other style with this same style, but the same color. And then I have another style similar to this one, but a different, um, a different color. I mean, a different style of color. So wait, this one's, yeah, okay. Does a short braided wig come in other colors? What color were you thinking about, Mary? Oh, I know what color. Why I mean, can't I even ask you that? You you like me. Um, I think so. The braided one, I believe I can do a blonde. Let me don't quote me on that. I'll I'll follow back up. I'm pretty sure I can. But um, I'll let you know. I can probably let you know in a couple of minutes, though. It's called Silk Line, Denise? I think it's called something else. I think it's called something else, Denise. Silk Line? If you are new, you just come into the, uh, the page. I'm showing you guys all the braided wigs that are currently in the stock. They are on the first and newest collection on the website. You'll go in, go for that first link where it goes under products. And you'll see wigs, and it'll be the first line, braided wigs. So basically, what I was asking Denise, there's this product that you can use that hides the knots on wigs. And you literally, like, it'll hide the actual knots. You don't bleach them. You're not coloring the tent. It's lacing the tent, coloring the tent. You're actually putting this product on there, and it pushes, like, a wax-looking material inside the knots, and it looks like a scalp. At least I thought it was called something else. But you know what? It might be more than one company that sells it. Perfect line or something? Perfect something? But you're saying it's called Silk Line. I thought it was called Perfect something. All right, so this one's the same style that I was just showing you. But it is um, in black. So once again, if you want to get this in shorter, like a bob style, you're able to do this as well. Can y'all see all that? Um... And then it has like the curly ends to it. Perfect line, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I you know, I've seen it. I haven't tried it. Denise has tried it. But um basically, I think it will look really good on these wigs. But the wigs already looks pretty good in regards to that. But um, it's not like they're bleaching the knots because this is synthetic hair, y'all. So it's not like it's human hair, but we cannot bleach the knots, right? So take a look, closer look at the knots on and look how neat the parts are the triangle parts um i was on as available on amazon now that's cool that's cool um as well and then this is what the back looks like oops i done broke the dang one thing y'all So this is what the back looks like. Um, Roman, she's, I mean, Rebecca's gonna drop the link on this one on the website as well. I wanted to check it out on Amazon. I never bought it yet. I'm gonna try it. out so y'all can see the difference between the two let me know what y'all think do y'all want me to have like more shorter style braid wigs um there were a lot of bob style wigs that i could do um i know that some people like certain things let me know what other styles y'all looking for and i think i put it in a facebook group a while ago what type of style wigs y'all like but i forget what was the feedback so those ones are like the cranky but um the locks. This one's the other pair. This one does have, they're not like the crinky, crinkly, um, uh, the whip, the locks themselves are straight, right? Um, this one's feel like it's a little bit shorter. I think it is a little bit shorter. So if you want to see what the difference is between the two, one is like waved up and one's not. So this one's a straight one as well. 
so you can tell the difference between the two. Um, and this is the other style. This is the last style that I have on here, and then it has the curly tips. Now, if you don't like the curly tips, you can just kind of like cut them off, take scissors and cut them down if you don't like the curly tips. But this one as well, full lace wig. So if you're a small head, it's going to be able to fit you nicely. You don't got to worry about it. If you are a medium, you can fit it. It has adjustable straps. Same thing. So you can put it in a high ponytail and also part it. But, um, but also, um, it has like the triangle parting spaces and then it has the baby hair. So all the wigs have the baby hair. So basically you can make the baby hairs when you put the wig on. And I'm gonna put it on here. I wish I was able to try it on for y'all, but like I told y'all, y'all just joining me. I have a big head and I can only fit the lace front. So these ones don't fit well for me. Um, because of my head size. So, go on, turn this around. See this. Same thing. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Put it up in a ponytail like this. Are you going to have it all the way down? Y'all got any questions for me? I got a couple other announcements too besides showing y'all these wigs. I have a couple other announcements that I want to chat about. If you guys have any questions about this wig, let me know. Um, I had to find my darn charger, y'all. My battery dying. A um, couple of things that I want to talk about. Be all about to be all up in my face real quick. A um, couple of things that I want to chat about is that, um, hold on, I gotta move this. My battery is dying, so I gotta have a seat next to the charger. A couple other things that now we have launched on the website. I think on the last call, um, we were talking about. Um, we were talking about, uh, like Klarna and like all these different other payment gateways and things like that. And I realized I didn't really explain it all to everybody in regards to what other options are available. So the other thing is that I incorporated was basically a deposit link on our website where basically you're able to put a deposit down on the wig and then email us which wig that you're referring to that you want to buy so it doesn't have to be number one purchased in full and then number two you're able to um, make payments over time um, so some people just opt for that I have a lot of regular customers that do it all the time but I forgot to just basically make it known <laughs> that we have that option so basically it's like a, a payment plan in-house where you just put a deposit down on the wig and then you just to tell us which wig you want and I believe it's probably like the first wig that comes up and it says deposit. So you just put the, the information down there and it comes up as a deposit. And then after that, um, you're able to pay the full balance and you pick out which wig you want. So we added that to the website. Um, just felt like that people were forgetting about that. Um, then the other part that we I forgot to talk about was um, for the women who are suffering from alopecia. I officially have like um, the closure units. They're not really closures, they're customized units. But basically, you know, most of the women who suffer from alopecia, not most, take that back. A lot of women who suffer from scarring alopecia, psychiatrical alopecia, CCCA, a lot of times they are suffering with alopecia in the crown section. So basically, um, that crown section eventually spreads throughout their head. Um, that's where my heaviest form of alopecia has always been that's where it started that's where it basically resides so basically i am now able to have custom-made units that will cover the alopecia area in that section so if you're someone and you're on here and you suffer from alopecia um and you have like that crown area alopecia um the units basically helps cover it i think i have one here hold on I 
that was hot when he left on that hot oil thing. Um, maybe you might need it for the light. Hold on. Let me go over here. Y'all can come over here with me. If you are someone who has alopecia, let me know in the comments section so I know I'm talking to you. to show y'all the hair unit that I'm referring to. So this is the hair unit that I personally use. Um, hold on, I'm just trying to get my bearings together, y'all, because my battery just died. Of course, when it's time for me to work. Can y'all hear me well? I think that, um, that laptop makes a loud noise in my more lives. So basically, um, the crown areas where a lot of women have alopecia. Um, so basically, that area um, is the area that normally needs to be covered, right? So here is the hair unit that I personally wear. Well, this, this is the look of it. So basically now I'm adding this on the website as an option for a unit. So if y'all can see that, it's not a closure, although you can consider it similar to it, but it's not because it's a lot fuller and it's a lot heavier um, in density wise. And it's made um, specifically for your hair. So it's anywhere from six by eight, seven by seven, seven by 10. Basically means seven inches wide and then ten inches back, right? So it's a way bigger than like a hair closure or something like that. But basically, this whole unit covers your alopecia section, your hair loss section, in this crown area. Now I've had women who wore this and didn't have much hair around the perimeter um, because this was able to mask majority of their hair loss because maybe they didn't want to wear a full wig. So they opted to wear this type of hair piece instead. So basically, you combine this with your natural hair right here. Even if your hair is thinning, the density of this wig is so, this hair piece is so heavy that it makes the rest look fine. You know what I mean? So if you are someone who is having thinning hair, not only in the crown area, but throughout, but you don't want to wear a full wig all the time, this is an option for you where you're able to put this unit on and then have it cut in style, y'all. You just can't put the wig on like this, the hair piece. It just doesn't work that way. Um, styling it makes a huge difference when it comes to your hair piece. So basically, I will have this on the website as a custom made wig um, that you're able to actually purchase. Because before, for a long time, I was not able to offer that on the website. So. Um, now I'm able to offer that on the website. But the, the key with these hair units is that you have to get them cut, cut and style. Really the wigs all together, you know, sometimes people just put the wigs on. A lot of times they look the best when you're actually customizing it and like um, cutting them for your style. 